This is the 13th Elite Code Challenge and it is called Roman to Integer. So I'm going to skip the explanation for this one as it's just the inverse of the previous challenge. So the input is going to be a Roman numeral number and we are going to be converting that to decimal which will be the output. So if we scroll down to the examples, so if we get the input III returns 3, if we get the input of LVIII, L is 50, then VIII is 8, so 58. And if we get the input of MCMXCIV, M is 1000, CM is 900, XC is 90, and IV is 4. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into the project. Okay, so the project is now set up, so let's get started. So my thoughts on this one is we start left to right again, so go here, so if it's M, we then check the following character to see if it's also M, if it is, we then check the next, char next character to see if it's M, and then we know it's, that would be 3000. So in this case we do M, we check the following character, but we see it is C, and because that's not a valid number, we know that it's just M, so 1000. We would then go to the next number which is C, and we would check to see if the following number is either D or M. So if it's C, D, we know the number's 400, or if it's C, then M, we know the number's 900. So that's how this would work in this case. Then we'll also need to check for D, so if it's D, is, are there any C's following it? In the case of the number 800, it would be D, C, C, C. So that's my plan on how to do this. So we'll start off with int number equals zero, then we'll do a for loop, int i equals zero, i is less than s dot length, I plus plus. So we'll have a string current character equals s i dot to string. So we know what the current character is. So if current character equals m, we'll go down. We'll then do if. Okay, so I'm just thinking about this. We want to do a plus one look ahead to see if it's a character we're looking for, but then in the case of if we're at the end of the string, we need to handle that. So what we will do is we're actually going to create a quick function here. Next character. So we'll put int index string s. So we'll do index plus plus. If index is greater or equal to s dot length, we will return string dot empty. Otherwise we will return s index dot to string. So we will do string next character equals next character i s if next character equals string dot empty or next character does not equal m number plus equals 1000. But if, it, if the next number is equal to m. Okay, thinking about this, we don't need to do it like this. If it's if it starts off as m, we can just do it as it is, and then go to the next number, and if the next number's m, we can just plus 1000. So we are going to, if the current number is m, number plus equals 1000, that's all we need. But what we need now, so else if current character equals d, this is where we need to start doing this. So if current character equals d, number, plus equals 500 and what we will do is while next character is that what I called it? capital N next character was it index index oh sorry is or is equals c number plus equals 100 then we do i plus plus so next number else if current character equals c number plus equals 100 actually no that this is where we don't want to do this straight away so if it's c 100 if we do string next character equals this if next character equals m we will number plus equals 900 else it is d 400 else it will just be number plus equals 100 okay yep so m d c was l the next number we need to do m d c l yep so else if actually we can just go back up here copy this one l 
plus 50, so that's L15, do X here, plus equals 10. Although even looking at this, we don't need to have the loop here, just plus equals 50, and then we do it down here, yeah. So it would, yeah, it would be 500, then we'll do the plus 100, okay, yeah, don't need to do this. It's only when it's this type of character when we need to do it. So put this here, now we will be working with, so from here to here, now we're doing it for X. X, if the next character is C, 90. If it's L, 40, otherwise 10. Now I think it's just copying this again for V and I. Now it's I, X, V, so it's either 9, 0, 1. Then down here, if that's in the correct spot, yep, we just return number. So let's run that and see if we've got it. Okay, so we've made a mistake somewhere. Got the first two correct, but then it's this one when error occurred. So I'm not sure how 3000 occurred. Okay, let's look at the number it's got there. So it's 1900. Actually, we'll just break point loop through this, to figure it out what went wrong. So don't want this one, don't want this one. We want to see how this one worked. So let's go through. So if it equals M1000, yep. So the next number is C, and it goes to here, grabs the next character, which is M. So if the next number is M, 900, okay, that's good so far. Same current character is C, no, okay, M. I must have done, I forgot to do a plus plus on the I. Yes, I did, so I plus plus, here, 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 and then here, here, okay. Let's remove this breakpoint and see if that fixed it. Okay, yep, that did fix it. So we will now copy all this code and put it into leak code. So let's run and see if we've got it correct. Alright, so that was correct. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.